Welcome to Salika Mag. In today's tutorial, we will learn how you can make a jumpsuit uh, pattern. If you have any favorite um, jumpsuit and you want to recreate that uh, suit, so here is a quick um, tutorial. First thing is that pin up that uh, jumpsuit and uh, uh, see here is um, waistline. So carefully pin up all these things and uh, fold it from the middle. And place it on place on your paper um, paper sheet uh, on which you want to uh, make your pattern. So here I'm just uh, marking here uh, exactly uh, from the front line and just uh, uh, mark a straight line. Don't be uh, no um, no need to be very precise because after removing this uh, uh, jumpsuit we will. Uh, uh, adjust all the markings so and also you can add if uh, something you want to uh, like alter in your design so here you can see um, there is a, a dot so for dot also I will increase one inch later so I will show you how you can increase and these um, uh, sleeves are um, actually the baggy style so no extra uh, sleeves are attached they just make it a shape like a baggy shape so after um, marking all this bo uh, body part because the trouser part we will um, make a separate pattern and then we can join so you here you can see that I'm just going to mark here this is the uh, body um, waist and here just uh, I'm going to join this with a slant line because this is uh, these are the baggy uh, style of um, sleeves and here this is the point where you want uh, you have to um, add the dot because in this uh, pattern there is a dot so I just increase one inch on my um, waistline and then I will mark here the dot so because we want to exactly replicate this design so from the edge towards this way we will mark our uh, um, dot but before that uh, make sure that your um, neckline and all the uh, these lines are prominent so when you start uh, tracing your pattern on your fabric so you won't confuse and this is the front neckline and obviously you can um, make some alteration if you want um, little changes so this is the um, dot here you can see here usually uh, in standards uh, there is a difference from the edge um, from the middle or towards uh, uh, the right or left this is four inches and the length of uh, dot is here six inches so let me show you how I know that there is a dot if you see your um, dress from the inside you can see this is a dot so let me start marking our dot uh, so here four inches from this side and uh, just mark here and then the six inches is the length and uh, half half inch both sides so means the total dot is of uh, one inch if you don't know how to make the dots you can check my a tutorial complete um, tutorial that how to make the dots and see this is our dot so next is after that I'm just going to cut my this pattern uh, of the body and then we will start um, um, uh, marking our trouser part so let me um, just uh, get cut it and uh, before cutting um, make sure that your all the uh, measurements are accurate so let me uh, show you um, after uh, I mean I'm just uh, going to uh, measure it again so see this is the waist and here is almost like 17 and you can um, uh, divide 17 by 2 and then you can uh, you will get like um, 8.75 I guess so here you can see this is our uh, waistline and obviously that one inch extra is going to be in the stitching and uh, keep in uh, your mind that there is no seam allowances added in this pattern because uh, we will add all the seam allowances when we start tracing our fabric to uh, tracing our pattern to our fabric because it's also depend if you are working with the serger or your fabric is knit fabric so all these things uh, matters so that's why I'm not going to add any seam allowance at this stage 
so now this is the trouser part of your jumpsuit and here you can uh, feel your uh, stitching line here where body is attached with your trouser so just place it properly and make sure that your back side the back side of uh, jumpsuit is uh, um, here I'm uh, tracing because back size is, is always bigger than the um, uh, front side so first we trace the back side and then we start tracing the fr uh, front side so also if you feel here a little wavy thing just make a straight line because obviously it should be straight uh, with the fabric it will not uh, it will not feel the straight but it should be straight hope you get uh, get my point and see just uh, i mark all the outline uh, outlines and now i'm going to join all the lines and then i will show you how you can make a difference uh, from the front and back because our back is heavy the hip part is heavy so always on in trousers our back is bigger than our uh, front so here you can um, see here this is the line where you can feel that uh, joining of your trouser see this is the line and again you can measure here um, the uh, waist of your uh, trouser part and again it's uh, um, 18 so 18 means it should be 9 you you can see this is exactly 9 because sometimes if uh, we are tracing with the uh, our dress so maybe dress is stretchy or all these things so uh, it's a better thing that always um mayor twice and here you see i just add one inch extra for that um dot that we also put in the uh, body part and this dot is continue till our um this trouser part so that's why i keep it one inch extra and also that and for back side i'm also making here one inch extra so if you don't know how to make a basic trouser you can check in my playlist how to make a basic trouser so you will get a more um good idea what's going on here but if it's if you are on a mid level so it will be easy for you to understand so this is the front and back uh, first line is for the front and the second line is for the back because our trouser is always um, in four pieces so hope you get this point and now come to this crotch area here uh, crotch also it should be um, bigger on the back side so let me measure it by holding your um, crotch here and you can uh, remeasure remire it and you can see here this is our front part and that the bigger one is our back part and here i should increase my crotch almost one inch and then uh, i just join it by a slant line so hope guys it is easy for you to follow your pattern for your design according to your any if you have any uh, favorite dress and you can um, recreate that dress so here also the outer curve we are going to make to make it a more beautiful shape so this is it and now uh, just uh, let me um, cut this pattern and uh, let me know guys in the comment section if you want to to uh, learn how to cut this jumpsuit and how to stitch i will make a complete tutorial about that so see uh, this is the body part and this is the trouser part and now i'm just going to cut and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and also in the comment section uh, please uh, let me know if you uh, are uh, you guys are interested to learn this um, jumpsuit the complete cutting and stitching i will show uh, show you guys this jumpsuit is actually one of my student uh, bring um, to learn so i thought uh, to share it with you guys so um see now this is the trouser is all uh, almost ready and here also the um, one pocket is also on the body part so i in next tutorial if i if you are interested in the sewing tutorial of this uh, jumpsuit i will also show you how you can attach the pockets here and uh, see this is the um, 
this is the hair where, where you can make a tort so i'm not going to um, draw the torts here but uh, thank you for watching and take care bye bye